Welcome back to Bits of an Artist Life. This is Sandy Hester. We just got back from a trip to Santa Rosa in Florida, which is like the Grayton Beach seaside area. And I cannot wait in this video to share this trip with you. We took my mom with us. We had great weather, great trip, and I had a ton of fun of just capturing the whole week in my sketchbook from times on the beach to the pool to dinners. So what I'm gonna do is give you a little peek through the whole week. And then at the end, I'm going to bring all the sketchbooks and share all the sketches I did through the whole week. I took an absolute ridiculous amount of art materials. I don't really know what I was thinking. Well, I know what I was thinking. I was thinking like, oh, we're going to be in the car and I don't know what I'm going to want to use and all of that. I mean, I took everything, soft pastels, color pencils, acrylic paint, gouache, acrylic gouache, markers, ugh, on and on and on, paint, paint sticks, watercolor. I even took two bags. Why, why would I take two bags? I have no idea why I took two bags. I did end up using everything except two sketchbooks for the most part. No, one sketchbook and one thing of paper I didn't use. Ridiculous. I mean, it was really ridiculous. I was kicking myself through the entire trip. Okay, so on the way down there, my mom kept talking about this place that she wanted to stop at, which is called Buckeyes. I think that's what it's called. It's called. She was calling it Buckeyes. Buckeyes, maybe it's Bucky's. And she was calling it Buckeyes, I don't know, but she was quite excited, as you can tell. And I was more like, and why are we taking photos in front of a gas station? Okay, we are in the car headed to Florida and I have two chunks of art supplies that I packed my down at the beach art supplies and half the studio in here, I feel like with the car. So I packed stuff in the car that I knew it would probably melt down there, but would be A-OK -okay in the car. So let me show you my car studio. I've already done one sketch. I did an Emma Carlisle Patreon session last week and wanted to redo one of the photos. Uh, so I did that. And let me show you what I've got here. Okay, so on my lap, you know that box that I have that I used to use like as a table? I've got that in my lap. For my table even though i did bring a thing that i usually use as a table i've got my pencils here that my mom i'm pointing to you mom give us a wave <laughs> that my mom made um that i designed she made well actually we both designed it uh, i've got my neo colors and here i've got a mix of markers that i feel safe opening some of my larger markers when you open them, they splatter paint. So I only brought my safe markers and then I also have my watercolor markers. So basically my Liquitex and a couple other markers are acrylic markers. And then I have my two brands of watercolor markers. And then I also brought a bin with, I haven't used these in quite a while. Let's see if I can get the top off. I can't get the top off with one hand, but those are my paint sticks, my gelatos and paint sticks. So I use some of those, brought my iPad. So I have photos to look at. And then, you know, like this is all, that's not all art stuff, that's just stuff. And then all the stuff back there. Grady, give us a wave, the driver. And this was the first sketch I did, which was a lot of fun to work on. I don't think I have the first one that I did in here, no. So I've got just a little bit left, actually a little more than a little of this sketchbook. And the goal is to fill this up on the drive down. I'm going to just paint and paint and paint or draw. I don't really actually have paint. Well, I guess this officially is a paint, is paint. Um, yeah, so this is the makeshift car studio. Okay, I'm gonna get back to it. I just came back from the pool. Um, it was getting quite hot. It's later in the day, and I thought I would show y'all um, the sketches from last night at dinner and from today at the pool. Let's see. Hopefully the lighting is good here. So I did several sketches at dinner of just um, the restaurant. It was nice because we had we, we had a four topper, and so I just switched back and forth sides. This is probably my favorite one put my mom in and then um, I was able to see the cook in the back too or the chef 
another quick one there was this big burly guy with this amazing beard and uh, he caught me though and I was getting nervous about sketching him some more this was from a painting that was up on the wall and I loved the dog and just yeah I was just trying to sketch anything and everything I could then this morning uh, we were all sitting out here having coffee on the balcony and I sketched just like you know what we could see from our balcony and then we went to the pool um, we spent the day the morning and the afternoon at the pool and tomorrow we're going to go to the beach um, I sketched Grady and my mom but I put them on opposite sides of the pool and then this one I feel like needs something here but I just left it because we left and I got done but I loved these two little kids and this little boy had those like arm floaty things on and she had these cute little goggles so that one was fun I love all the buildings that you can see around there and then this is the one I did this afternoon and again a little boy with floaty things and some other lady that ended up turning around I think she caught me sketching her and then was that it yeah that's it and then I'll probably finish the sketchbook maybe tonight at dinner. And I can't remember if I already showed you the car sketches. I may have, but just in case the lighting's a little better here. This is, oh, my battery's about to die too. So if this quits, sorry. This is probably my, my favorite one from the car ride. I did um, another Emma Carlisle Patreon session picture that she shared. Did a very quick tiger. I liked his teeth <laughs> that was my favorite part to do and then I did a build a scene I like to do that when we're on the trip just kind of as I pass things kind of just build this scene yeah and that's it so tonight we will um, I'll just take my sketchbook and a few supplies and continue just working. It's been really fun, really fun to just sketch and sketch and sketch. One of my favorite parts of the trip was sketching at dinner. I took my sketchbook all but two nights. One of the nights, Grady and I just did a date night out, and then there was another night that was gonna be at a really fancy restaurant, and it didn't feel very appropriate to take my sketchbook and, you know, pencils and all that, but I loved capturing our dinners, either mom and Grady, or just the things that were either in the restaurant or that I could see outside when we ate outside. My other favorite thing to sketch was at the pool. I was surprised how much I enjoyed the, sketching the pool over sketching the ocean. I just loved it. It was a gorgeous pool area and it was just really fun to capture the people and plants and stuff around it. This trip down to the pool, I was determined to pack really light. So I just took my watercolors and my Neo Color 2, they're mainly Neo Color 2s. I do have a couple of regular Neo Color 1s in there, which are not water soluble. And I was really happy with what I did. Felt difficult though with limited supplies. And my Neo Colors were kind of soft and melty. So, like trying to get these details of like people was really hard, especially like the uh, chest hair there on Grady. <laughs> he went over and posed for me, and I was cracking up at the way I painted him, but it was a lot of fun. It was getting blazing hot, so once I finished this, I just came in and rested for a little bit before we went out to dinner. So I sat there for maybe an hour, maybe an hour or two hours. I can't remember how long we were out there just working on this one, probably more like an hour. Uh, and it was really fun to try to capture all of this. I just sat down here at this table that had a nice umbrella over it, so I was out of the sun. Fun, tonight we're gonna go down to the pool area again. I'm going to paint in a different area and they're going to play shuffleboard. So that should be fun tonight. Each time I went to the pool, I took different materials with me. It was nice to experiment, but I do think it would have been, I would have been better off if I had just taken the same thing each time. I would have learned the materials a little better. I was already learning a new environment, so to each time have to struggle a little bit with my materials. I mean, it didn't feel like struggle, but I do think next time I will just take limited supplies and use the same things over and over.
Everybody's taking a little nap while I'm sketching. I tried desperately to pack light. I brought my watercolors. I brought just a few color pencils. I brought my soft pastels. Got stuff on my knee, no surprise. And then I also brought some paint markers that are in here that I don't even know if I ever got those out. I mean, that's really not packing light, but I did try really, really hard. Hey, Grady. Look at my mom. She's over there working on her sewing lessons. She's getting ready for classes when she gets back home. Okay, I'm out here on our balcony again. The lighting has been nice, so this has been a good spot for me to show you guys the sketches from today. Um, I thought I was going to be a little more into the beach than I was, or like sketching and painting the beach. I just was not into it. Ugh. Therefore, not very good sketches. Um, I first just stood literally in the water and sketched we were waiting for the guy to get our chairs for us an umbrella and I was burning up I thought I was gonna pass out so did a quick little this is supposed to be the beach I thought maybe I would add some paint but I didn't uh, then I sketched the lady next to me it's a terrible sketch because she kept noticing and then she literally switched seats with her husband and turned the opposite way I mean, I don't know what it is about me getting caught, but I do get caught quite a bit. I feel like, let's move this over here. Uh, okay, then, so you can tell I was trying to do like this sweeping thing, but then I didn't do that with the water. But the water today had all these like lines because of the different depths of the water. Um, and I was also interested in the clouds, but I don't know. I also used my soft pastels. Uh, I meant to push this one a little further than what I did, but I do like the layers uh, and clouds. Quite messy. And then this one, so I had two sketchbooks. I was going back and forth, and I think I was letting this dry. I was going to keep adding to it, and maybe we came back for lunch. I can't remember. I think that's it in the sketchbook. Yep. Then... Let's see, this one wasn't too bad. Uh, I do really love the soft pastels. What I don't love is, like today I was outside, but it was windy, so it was blowing it all in my face. I don't know, like my lungs just don't feel great, my allergies. Here I was trying to capture like the depth and layers. I do love the way the soft pastels turn out but I think I need to be outside and in a non-windy area. So I think I gave up on the soft pastels and just did watercolor. I really wanted to try to capture like the clouds and the, the arch that you kind of see uh, when you're outside. And was that it? Yes, that was it from the beach today. Tonight, as usual, I will sketch at dinner, I think. I think my mom may be staying here and just Grady and I going out, so maybe I'll leave my sketchbooks at home. Uh, but that was today at the beach, and I just wasn't really feeling it like I thought I would. I think it was because it was super hot. I couldn't, it was super sunny, so I couldn't really get out of the sun. And I was limited to just like one view. Though looking back at these two right here, I really like. I don't know. Maybe if it's cloudy one day, I'll enjoy it a little better because I can kind of move around. And I think I need to try this again and not put like this line. I need to capture that this goes this way, I think. Okay, so there's today at the beach. This morning, I ended up just sitting up out here on our balcony. Um, I slept in a little late, wasn't feeling great, had kind of a rough night. And didn't really feel like getting out and about so I sat out here I've been wanting to capture kind of just the scene I really liked this big patch of green grass that's out there and then I don't know if you can tell but way out it's not it's not really actually that far but there's this patch of the ocean you can see right there that I just love because it's in between these two buildings colorful buildings out here all these wonderful palm trees so I just brought everything um, the color pencils I didn't really use those I did use one color pencil I used this one the luminance uh, what is this one called 
077. I can't read what color it is. No, that wasn't the one I used. Yes, it was. Um, or was it? Maybe it's in here. Yeah, I think that was it. It really doesn't matter. Here's what I sketched. And like I said, I wanted to really capture this bit of ocean. The palm trees are so stinking fun um, to do. And then out here on that little, I don't know what that is. There's like a little stage or something out there. A bunch of kids were out there. I think there's like a school. So that was kind of fun to capture that. I mean, that they had a little red ball that I was like definitely getting that in. Uh, there's a lot of roads, so trying to do that and it not be too dark or too light was interesting to try to do and I just tried to like build up from the back to the front which I think worked pretty good and you can tell I made this building different color in real life it's blue there is a yellow building there's some yellow buildings over there but I didn't want this blue I don't know I did do kind of a blue building over there so there's that I mainly used my paint Sorry, there's a truck coming, so it's kind of loud. My paint, my Neocolor 2s, and my paint markers. And this was the little palette that I brought, which has been really handy uh, to have. So, I just sat out here, put my earbuds on, listened to a little audiobook, and painted. And it was super, super fun. Grady and my mom are around the corner on the balcony just visiting. And then this afternoon, we're going to go to the pool. So, I'll probably paint while I'm there. One day I decided to get out and go walk around and look at like the beautiful just nature and I really love capturing the plants, the just, I don't know, natural stuff that's around that I see every morning on my walks. I love noticing like the color and textures and I really meant to spend a little more time on this than I did. Try to capture some snapshots for you. I literally just took my Neo colors which were melting like crazy and try to just capture really quick. I mean, I think I was only out there for like 10, maybe 15 minutes because I was melting, but I gave it, you know, a good try, my best for that day. Okay, so I've been sitting here for a few minutes before dinner, uh, just sketching the room. I often like to try to capture little bits of the room and also like out the window. Oh look, Grady's out there. <laughs> Hi, Grady. So uh, I love that there was like a draft picture back here, even though I couldn't see all of it. Those fun lights and the pillows. Uh, really, I think I did this whole sketch just to get that uh, plant. <laughs> so that was fun. So I just kind of crammed everything in that I wanted to get. So, uh, and I just used color pencils and some of my markers and just a couple of the paint markers that I have. And that was a lot of fun. All right, as promised, I wanted to give you a sketchbook tour. The sketchbooks I used were the Art Creations. This is like eight by five-ish. And then I also used, what is this brand? I never can remember this brand, Ranger. I feel like that's what's on the back, but it's called something else. I'll have links below of these sketchbooks. Let's start with the larger one, this Ranger. I love this sketchbook. I feel like I always make good work in it. <laughs> I'll be excited to do a full sketchbook tour when I'm done. Okay, I thought I would show you this because this is the sketch that I did, the smaller sketch in the car. Um, I used the same photo. This was an Emma Carlisle Patreon session, so um, I didn't use this as my reference. I used the actual photo, or did I use this? Maybe I did use this. I can't even remember now. It doesn't matter. Okay, this is a, a painting I did from our room. And I loved that we have this little bit of the ocean. And so I tried to capture that several times. And then one day school got out and all these children were down here. So that was fun to capture that. Uh, this was one of the pool scenes that I loved. I just loved a lot about this. I thought I would leave this in here too because I did a color swatch of all my large paint markers before I left. I thought it would be real nice to have this as reference. Did I look at it once? No, <laughs> I did not. But I'm going to put it off to the side to use as reference later. This was another pool scene that I thought was really fun. It was so nice each day to kind of just move around different parts of the pool. A lot of times we were just chasing the shade or the sun if we were wanting sun. And so that just kind of dictated which part of the pool we were looking at. 
Uh, these people I sketched in my soft, with using my soft pastels really quickly. I'm not loving the soft pastels, I'll have to tell you. I thought I would use them more, I just did not love them. I did like sketching with them. I probably used this one right here, the Pit Pastel. Uh, what is that number? 122188, kind of an orangey color. I sketched it out really quick, but I put them in really fast. I don't know why I didn't paint them after that, because they left. I did start learning that I needed to sketch people really quick because they were leaving. And I also found that I loved like putting stuff that I was seeing on the tables in. And that's all from the sketchbook. Next, all right, let me bring you down. There we go. Let's see, I think, yeah, I finished this one up. So I'll be doing a sketchbook tour soon of this one. So this was the car sketch I did. And again, I can't remember if I used, I do remember the original one I did. I used several photos. So I'm, I don't remember, but that was really fun. I like, I liked the figures. It looks like I just used my watercolor markers. Well, I don't know, Neo colors. I probably used everything that was in the car there. This was the other one of the tiger. The build, build a scene, dinner dinner, dinner from the balcony. I'm going to just go through a lot of these quickly that I've already showed you. Pool scene. I'm loving the colors of this right here. Absolutely loving the way all that turned out. Pool. I mean, these two figures popping up just make me so happy. And then I do, again, these colors back here were so nice. Another pool scene. I kept playing around with the pattern. It had kind of a terracotta tile pattern, checkered. And I changed this pool or this um, patio like five times, I think. I kept changing it. I ended up liking it, this yellow. Actually, I really like this whole scene. Dinner, Grady and my mom. I made my mom look about 18 there. Actually, she kind of looks like me there putting in these lights. Everywhere we went had these like little lights, which were a lot of fun. Another dinner. Grady at the same dinner. Again, his chest hairs. I mean, it's just the best part. That and the glasses, that's always fun. And the same dinner, another quick sketch. That's it of this one. see what we have here. I have not looked at any of these since I've gotten back, so it's fun to look at them with you guys. Oh yeah, I remember this. Ooh, I love how that turned out, that sky. See, this kind of thing where I did this in soft pastel, watercolors and soft pastel, pastels, then to try to recreate this using acrylic paint is really, really fun. That's why I like using different materials in my sketchbooks than what I use when I'm painting on canvas because it pushes me like this is watercolor. So then I'm going to get different effects and probably use different colors than I normally would. So then again, trying to recreate this in acrylic paint for me is really fun. How do I get all this line work that I did with soft pastel? How do I get the soft, blurry, and layered look of these watercolors? Oh, this was a fun one too. I did, this is a night scene. I went out on the balcony. I think my mom and Grady were gonna go down and play shuffleboard. I'm not a game person. Like, I think I'm allergic to games. I'm not a game person at all, I don't like games. So they went down and I walked out on the balcony and was like, oh, I could tell the lighting was changing crazy fast. So I grabbed just whatever I could. I wish I'd gone out there more nights. It could have been the night before we were to pack and then leave or else I probably would have gone out there, which is super fun, but the light changed really fast. Uh, another beach scene, ocean scene. I do like what's going on back here and trying to capture these birds, but, well, I do like those palm trees too, but all of this, it's really difficult going to a new place and trying to capture it. I, I've forgotten how hard that is, that you kind of need time to, like be there for a little bit. This was fun to try to capture kind of this circly stuff that was happening at the very edge of the ocean. 
yeah, I think I used markers and soft pastels there. I've forgotten about so many of these. Yes, at this point I was like, try to capture a lose, go really fast. So I did a whole bunch really fast. Then this I did, this was the only one I did on the car ride home. I pulled out some of my bird photocopies. I took photocopies from some of my books of birds and I did this one book. I mean this one book, this one bird. I was really tired on the way back the night before I had not slept at all. And I just use markers there, that's it. And I like that. I really should do that more because it's easy to take markers and they're really light and I like the way I can layer them. Okay, one more. Let's see. Here we have another ocean beach scene. I literally stood in the water, I was burning up, stood in the water and just sketched, like looking back this way. Thought I would just kind of warm up. Oh yeah, look at that little bird, that's funny. There were these really cute little birds with long legs that would just, ch -ch -ch. the way they moved, I told Grady one day, I was like, that looks like so much fun to move like that. Move your little legs, just ch -ch -ch -ch. It's kind of like they skated over the, the um, sand. Okay, there's that lady. Yep, I've already shown you those. This one again, I love, like to try to paint that, which I will, I'm gonna do some paintings from some of these. I'm wishing now I had done more because I do love this. Hmm. One that I did not finish. Oh yeah, I only did one of the room. Usually I sketch quite a bit of our room or, or the condo or hotel that we're in from different views. I think I used to do that more because I didn't get out. A lot of times like on ski trips, I'd be freezing so I just stay in the room and a little peek out the window there. Those kinds of things are really fun. And the pillows on the couch and even like the remote control. And then this plant on the corner was really fun. Okay, this was another quick one, just using my color pencils. I was just dying out in the heat. So I came in at 1046, it looks like. Well, I finished this at 1046 and just did a quick sketch. There was this palm tree right outside our window and I really wanted to do a little more detailed, just kind of study of it. And again, capturing that blue, I moved the horizon down some. And then this is the like, walk around and sketch different flowers and nature-y things. I did this super quick because for some reason at like 10 something I was dying hot, but then I thought at whatever time this was, this was like, oh yeah, 11.30, I was really dying. I don't know what I was thinking, okay. Wow, that's it. Wait, did I already show you this one? Did we do this one? Yes, we did that one too. Okay. All right, there's my trip in sketchbook form. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was encouraging and inspiring. And towards the end of this year, end of the summer, we're going to be going on a trip. I'm not going to be telling where yet, but we're going on a trip and we're going to be filming on that whole trip. It's going to be a class that I'm going to be offering on how to capture your travels in a sketchbook. So I'll be doing all of it and capture having Grady as my videographer. So that will be coming out either the end of this year or beginning of next year. For now, that is my Santa Rosa trip, beach vacation. Yay.